Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is our first time trying out Blue Beacon, and we're gonna just kind of see how well it cleans our RV. Our RV is filthy, like straight up dirty. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick around it. Um, I think it was like what forty-seven dollars, thirty something to forty something dollars for RV. So I thought it was pretty cool. And yeah, we're heading to a campground here in Utah. We'll be here for about a week, maybe. I don't know when I'm gonna post my footage, but we did blow a tire, which sucks. So yeah, you probably will, I'll show that to you guys too in a second. But um, let me go ahead and walk around. I'm gonna show you guys. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna have Hannah turn the camera around real quick. Hold on. The sun is beaming down on us. It's 100 degrees outside, and I love this 360 camera. Check this out. So we can ride with this on here. Oh, oh actually, hold on. I think I might have changed here. Here you go. Let's see the front. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So we can keep this up so the sun's not in our face and literally have a little bit more cooler truck. Isn't that cool? <laughs> We're in line. So check it out. You probably can't tell, but the front cab is it's really dusty. And even like right here, it's like really dirty. And I know you can't really tell but really the top of the RV right here stays pretty clean, but it's really dusty on like the bottom. You can kind of see how dusty it is. Wheels and tires are disgusting. And I'm hoping that they will hit this stuff too. And there's that blown tire that we have to replace. And now you guys can see just how filthy the side of it is here. Really dirty. Check that out. So yeah, the truck's not bad. I have some grease I got to clean off from my goose box. That's pretty much it. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, this Blue Beacon is in Salt Lake City. I'm not sure if all of them have it, but it looks like they have a um, vacuum cleaner here on the side too. So if you want to vacuum out your truck or your RV, whatever, looks like they may have it. Now, I'm not sure if you can do your RV. I mean, if you have a bus, maybe if you have a door on the driver's side, like a Class A or something like that, you might be able to do that. but. Um, so far, it looks like there's two trucks in there. This one, they're just kind of cleaning the front end of it from what I can see here. He hasn't pulled all the way in yet. Not sure if they're gonna do the trailer side of things or if he's not even requesting the trailer, I don't know. So, yeah, pretty cool though. 14 foot height, the width of the door is 13 foot. Although I will say once you get in here, there's no way to get out of here. You have to go through. So just make sure you're below 14 foot and make sure you're with his um, within 13 feet. So I didn't know this, but they do brush actually. So just keep that in mind. I just talked to the guy. He asked me if um, I wanted to get the truck in the trailer. I just said, if you could just rinse the truck off, cause I don't really use brushes on my truck like that. But I don't mind the RV, I could care less. I just wanted to be clean. But um, they do charge for tire shine. So it looks like, uh, there it is here. The price is Tractor 1010. Trailer's 580 for four tires, and then passenger vehicle 790. So I don't get tire shine either, so I'm gonna forego that to you. So here's the damage. So I did add the Rain-X complete and it was only 1310. So total is 44.29. That was it. Not too bad. 
this would take me about four hours to do just the uh rv so and when i get to our destination i might put like our my spray wax on there too that i always do so hopefully uh they do a good job they do use brushes as i mentioned so i did ask them not to do my truck um i prefer them just to brush the rv so yeah i'll show you guys a finished product here in a second all righty so it's the next day and i must say i don't know what they use but whatever it is it really agitates anything on on the rv down here even though it doesn't look as nice it actually is pretty clean because obviously residue from the truck was hitting the trailer but on the side I mean, it is completely clean like i strongly strongly recommend that you do the wash with uh blue beacon i mean the tires i didn't want the tire shine i'm not a huge fan of it but clean up the wheels and tires pretty good they didn't clean the jacks i should have had them look at that and um, hit that a little bit but not a big deal i mean even the back looks really good now one thing i will mention too they do not dry it off so luckily we were right by the interstate which blue beacon is typically right beside the interstate and yeah it didn't really leave that much water marks on it either so yeah it looks really good and i'm really happy with the outcome i strongly recommend if you are looking to get your rv wash i mean for 40 what was it 44 dollars? i think i showed you guys not bad not bad at all Alrighty. so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that they're using harsh chemicals on blue beacon the only way they can get those bugs off and a lot of the dirt that's been sitting on there for months is because they're probably using some type of acid to really eat away at that dirt so I don't recommend you do that often. So maybe once a year or once every three years, but if you're gonna do it, I recommend when you get home or wherever you're going, try to rinse the RV off and really um, dry it, get as much of that off of the RV as you can, and then put a nice coat of wax on it too. That way you can really preserve the clear coat because that's gonna really deteriorate your overall finish on the RV. So just something to consider, but I hope the video was helpful. I still would recommend doing it maybe, you know, if your RV gets really dirty, and like I said, just taking it home and just doing a second cleaning on it. See you guys in the next video.